What's up guys? It's Susie Bullock from HeyGrillHey.com and we all know that one of the best barbecue side dishes is mac and cheese. But to take it to the next level, I'm gonna show you how I make smoked mac and cheese. Let's do it. We are starting out by melting a half a cup of butter in a 12 inch cast iron skillet. Put that over medium heat, get the butter melted nice all the way through, and stir in four tablespoons of flour. You want to use a whisk for this part so that you don't have any flour clumps and you make kind of a nice smooth paste. Stir in a tablespoon of mustard powder. This will give your mac and cheese a nice punch. And then whisk in two cups of half and half. As you bring that up to a boil, you'll actually start to see that it thickens the cream in the sauce, which is lovely. Add in four ounces of cream cheese and continue whisking. You don't wanna see any clumps of cream cheese. Keep stirring until it's nice and smooth and everything is broken down. This is where you turn off the heat and then stir in three cups of shredded medium cheddar cheese and a cup and a half of Gouda cheese. This will give you that nice, luscious, like, stringy cheese pull when you go to take a bite. Now that our cheese sauce is done, we're gonna pour in a pound of elbow macaroni noodles that have been cooked al dente. We don't wanna cook them till they're super duper soft, because this is gonna go in the smoker and they're actually gonna cook a little bit more. So make sure they still have a little bite when you dump them in. Gently mix that into the cheese sauce. And you're actually gonna smoke it right in the cast iron skillet so you don't even have to dirty another dish. We're gonna make a topping. This part is optional. If you like a little crunch on the top of your mac and cheese, this step is for you. Take one cup of panko breadcrumbs. Those are actually a little bit bigger than traditional breadcrumbs and a lot crunchier. Stir in a quarter cup of melted butter and I like to add in two tablespoons of a barbecue rub. We're using my signature sweet rub which is available on my website. You can check that out. Sprinkle that liberally all over the top of your mac and cheese and then it's heading outside to the smoker. We've got the smoker preheated 225 degrees and we're gonna leave it in there for an hour. This will take on smoke really quickly, so you don't need to leave it in for too long and we don't want it to absorb too much of the liquid that's in the sauce. For the wood that I'm using, I'm actually using a cherry wood, but most woods are actually really versatile and fantastic on smoked mac and cheese. The stronger ones would be something like a hickory or a mesquite will give you a really strong smoke flavor. I like the milder flavors of fruit woods like apple or cherry. Those are fantastic ones to use with mac and cheese. Our mac and cheese is off the smoker. It's got a beautiful golden ground crust. Golden brown, that's a color, golden ground. It's got this golden buttery crust on the top, super tender noodles, and all of the cheese a girl could ever hope for. Mm. Yeah, that's awesome. I hope you guys give this one a try. If you do, leave a comment, share a picture. We'd love to see what you're making at your backyard barbecue. See you next time.